my friends, MD Vegan. I make a chocolate sauce today with cashew nuts, dates and cacao powder. Very simple, I show you my cashews and my dates and my cacao powder. So you can see how much I have and what kind of qualities it is. That's a cup, a little bit more than a cup, a good cup cashews. And here maybe eight to ten dates, medium size. Pitted of course, and here is a I would say say three to four tablespoons cacao powder and water of course. I put it in a blender, and the point is with this sauce has two points. First, I have to get it in the right texture. I want to pour it over an ice cream, for example. Yeah. And um, it's be runny and not too thick because when you blend cashews with cacao and dates and water, it is first is a little bit runny, and then after a while when it sits, it turns into a firm, <laughs> it firms up a little bit. So I have to balance a little bit. And the other thing is that the flavor has to be nice chocolatey. Too much cacao uh, would make it bitter, and too many dates would make it too sweet. So this is the balance here, flavor and texture. So I put uh, all the cacao of the day, all the cashews, it's a little bit more than a cup into the container. And um, well, I begin with six, six dates. I have three more and the cacao butter. I begin with most of it and also I keep some here to have a little bit of leeway. And water. So I make now, I begin with a little bit less than half a liter. Yeah. So I, I think it will be too thick. Yeah. But let's see. Yeah. I can always change now. I have a little plate here. I'll blend it in. Let's see what happens. The sound is okay now, the blending is, the first blending is done, then the nectars have broken down, the dates also, and you see the colors are beautiful. This is a beautiful, would be a beautiful chocolate sauce, very simple, just the basic three ingredients, you need some sweetener for cacao, cacao is bitter, and the, 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 the carrier, the cashews, so I don't need more, but I can add flavors, but that's later. Now, let's see the texture and the flavors, right? Well, it's a little bit, it looks a little bit thin, uh, thin, but it will thick up, thicken up, that's for sure. i show you in a moment. So it is almost, it might be perfect, because when it thickens up a little bit, it, it might be then perfect. But now I think it's a little bit too runny for a chocolate sauce. But um, as I said, it will thick up, thicken up. So let's see what it tastes like. Flavor is the color is nice, so it might be perfectly chocolatey. Let's see, I have some more chocolate powder and some more dates uh, to refine. Let's see. Mm. Yes, mm. wonderful. If you put too much cacao powder, it becomes bitter and also a little bit as if you have a dust in the mouth. <laughs> Cacao powder is very fine. <clears throat> and that flavor will translate in. It's not here. I have to blend one more time. And, um, well, I, I'll wait until I put more of the dates in. Well, I put more dates in. And that's okay, yeah, put more dates. Um, I wet the cow powder. Yeah. Don't want to put too much. But I will blend one more time. But, I have to do that anyway. The cashews have not been soaked before, not ahead of time, so they soak now, right now. And they need to soak a little bit. Now they have been broken down into small particles. Now they are soaking, they're larger, getting larger a little bit by soaking. When I blend again, 
they get really fine and creamy and that's what I want for the dressing for both for the texture and for the flavor nice creaminess and the perfect flavor and all the all the aroma the, the, the flavor phrase um, uh, begin uh, coming to one one flavor so one more blender dance and one more blending The longer I blend, the warmer it will get. So I could make a warm chocolate sauce and do it right away, but that's not the point now. Yeah, it looks great. And when I put it into the fridge, when it's done, it will still thicken up. I will put it in the fridge um, to use it later, but um, last time I tried it, it was perfect. When it in the fridge, take it out of the fridge, it was much too firm, so I had to blend again. So I guess. I will leave it a little bit too runny uh, before I put it in the fridge, but first I let's taste again and then I decide what to do. Mm. Oh, now, now the sweetness is there. I was right with nine dates of the medium size, and I don't think I need some more cacao powder. Yes, it's wonderful. Well, I'll show you what it looks like. It's really nice chocolate sauce, and as I said, once in the fridge, it will foam up anyway. You see, this is pretty creamy, beautiful, and this is a little bit too runny for my taste for a chocolate sauce, but it won't stay like that. It will firm up, so it might be perfect. But I think anyway, you got the idea. You can make your own now and you know when when you put it in the fridge it will firm up and then you can decide you want it a little bit more runny or a little bit more thick up to you thanks for watching i hope you enjoy if you like like my videos subscribe to mdv on youtube have another recipe every single day and find me on facebook instagram pinterest and twitter